Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel here at Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you for stopping by, checking out my videos. If you could, please like and subscribe. Um, I will be doing a giveaway here um, for my YouTube subscribers once I reach 100 subscribers on YouTube. I will be giving out multiple products of the companies that I try here on the channel. Um, so again, please share with your bearded friends, and I look to look forward to the growth of the channel overall. Um, today's company that we'll be talking about is based out of New York. Um, the name of it is Hometown Beard and Body. After the short introduction, I'll jump right into the review, so please stand by. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, welcome back, and again, thank you for um, checking out this video. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Today's subject will be the Beard Company Hometown Beard and Body. They're based out of uh, Odensburg, New York, and their um, owner's name is Rusty Jackson. Um, they started the company this year in 2022, and um, He's dedicated to bringing his, bringing his customers the best body and beard products he can make through small batch, made to order, and that is his primary focus. Um, he's a strong family man, and the company's core values are home, family, and memories. And what brings that through is his products and the quality of the value that you see with the product that you're shipped. Um, through his mission, the company's vision, and just even some of the names of his scent profiles, he brings back memories of his life and the hopes that customers have similar memories or times that they've treasured in, treasured in their past um, may come to mind with some of the scent profiles, the names of the scent profiles, and just kind of bringing back the memories of good old times. Uh, that, that's kind of really what his mission and his vision is for the company. Um, he also has developed a special lineup of scent profiles for the company. Um, he calls this the Hometown Heroes. Um, he, he will have this as a limited release on a regular basis and what he'll do is take 25% of each sale from these limited edition products and actually donate those to local charities, um, food pantry, or excuse me, food donation pantries, stuff of that nature in his local communities. So um, please keep that in mind when shopping with the uh, hometown Baird and Body Company. Um, he wants to be able to provide and give back to the community there in northern New York where he lives. Um, he developed this idea actually through driving through his local town and noticed the veteran memorial banners that hang on the light poles there. And um, what this does is it honors the local veterans that have or currently live in that community. And uh, this is where he came up with the name and the idea to give back to the, the charities within his community. Um, each scent profile that is within the Hometown Heroes product lineup is actually dedicated to an individual within his local chapter um, there with the Bearded Rebellion there in Northern New York. Um, so again, he lives out the name of the company um, the core values of the company is also what he lives on a daily basis in his personal life. Um, and he truly is a great guy to work with. Um, has some amazing products that I'll get into here in just a moment. And truly cares about giving back to the community in which he resides. So uh, again, you cannot ask for a better man to purchase beard products from. Um, the first item that we'll be discussing is his one ounce beard oils. Um, 
<clears throat> the one ounce beard oils from Hometown Beard and Body will run you $15. That's across the board industry average. So, again, wonderful price for a good beard, uh, beard oil product. Um, it actually comes in 13 different scent profiles at the time of this video here today. So, uh, plenty of selection to choose from. He also, of course, includes an unscented version of the beard oil. Um, the label, just short, simple, straight to the point, white label there. He uh, autographs it there with the scent profile chosen. Has his logo in the top corner. Um, of course, volumes two ounces. He does put a nut allergy warning here. Again, if you have a nut allergy, just kind of always be selective in the products that you choose. Um, and then again, has his ingredients list here. This comes in a, a nice black glass uh, one ounce container bottle. I really do like this. This is a nice touch. And of course the general uh, dropper top that everybody's used to. The oil has a little faint of a yellow tint to it and is a nice light consistency there. The ingredients within this oil are apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, coconut oil, argan oil, and vitamin E oil. The uh, scent profile here is what he calls Blue Nile. Blue Nile is gardenia, lotus, musk, sandalwood, and amber profile. Um, when smelling it, you get a nice floral scent. Um, with a little bit of musk and sandalwood on the back end. Um, really nice, uh, pleasant, but yet still masculine. Uh, it really blends well the floral tones with the musk and that sandalwood and amber. Uh, I really enjoyed this scent profile. Kept my beard nourished, uh, the, it kept it moisturized, was easy to comb through. Um, didn't have any itch or dryness throughout the day. In the scent profile, the Blue Nile, it lasts maybe about four to five hours on average. Um, really good beard oil product. I was very impressed. Again, the Blue Nile is a floral yet masculine scent, so go ahead and check that one out. Really great beard oil. Um, the second item we'll talk about is his two ounce pour, the, what he calls the go-to poured butter. It's a poured butter. Um, comes in a two ounce black container um, for two ounces of beard butter here on the poured butter um, you're running around $20 um, industry average is between 15 to 20 so right there in that ballpark um, and this actually comes in 14 cent profiles as of the time of this video um, label very similar to what was on the oil in a circular form um, logo there, the go-to poured butter. This scent profile is Pina Colada and it has the uh, ingredients list, two ounce, and of course the nut allergy warning there at the bottom. <clears throat> the ingredients of this poured butter is beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter, hemp seed oil, castor oil, coconut oil, and jojoba oil. Um, the consistency of it is a, a, a nice um, even butter tone. Has a little bit of the thickness, of course, from the beeswax. However, works really nice into the beard once um, it emulsifates in your hands. When you work it and put a little bit of heat to it, really, um, really does well mixing it in the beard. Um, combs through well. And um, again, it has that little, little bit of a hold to it however it's not bad whatsoever not similar to what you'd expect out of a bomb um, kept my beard nourished um, throughout the day or usually in all honesty it's through the night i wear uh, beard butters in the evenings before bed the uh, scent profile here is again the pina colada um, it's a mix of rum coconut pineapple and lime <coughs> it is kind of a straightforward pina colada what you would expect but I do get a little bit of the pineapple and lime with a, of course the mix of the rum and it's very pleasant it's got a little bit of a twist to it 
um, and I really enjoy it. It's that really great fruity mix with the rum, just a fabulous version of the Pina Colada scent profile. Really lovely, and uh, uh, the actual company, Hometown Beard and Body, they list this as one of the company's favorites. Uh, awesome product, really worked well on my beard. Scent profile lasts probably about four to six hours. Um, put it in that evening, was easy to comb through to um, work the product through my beard, and then upon waking up the next morning, was a bit really easy to comb through as well. Absolutely awesome beard butter product. The third and last item that I have here is the two ounce whipped butter. This comes in a um, plastic container, white in color. I like that. It, it kinda, kind of a nice transition between poured butter versus whipped butter. Um, this will run you for a two ounce whipped butter, $25. The industry average is between 15 to 20, but for the quality of the product you're getting, as well as of course the rising cost that everybody's seeing throughout the nation as far as the cost of ingredients becoming more expensive, this is an absolutely great deal. Uh, the label again is similar to the other two products, Hometown Beard, uh, Beard and Body, or Body and Beard in the top. Um, he writes in the scent profile, which this one's Grandma's Kitchen, which I'll get into more details here shortly. Um, nut Allergy Warning, two ounces, and of course the ingredients list up here in the top right hand corner. Um, the ingredients of this product here are kokum butter, kapaku butter, murumuru butter, coconut oil, emu oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and fragrance oils. Um, now, what I'd like to start off with saying about this is he has some really interesting and unique um, ingredients in this whipped butter. I have, personally, I haven't really seen many products that hold emu oil in their butters, uh, as well as the cocoa and kapaku butter. I hate, I, I'm horrible about saying that, or translating that word. Um, but again, very unique ingredients, and I must say, worked really, really well in my beard. Um, very good ingredients. Um, and really, my beard really benefited from them overall. I really enjoyed this. Um, the ingredients, uh, or excuse me, the scent profile is what he calls Grandma's Kitchen. Now, I'd like to go into more detail about this. Um, it is a apple pie and tobacco scent. And this, this scent was specifically sent to me because I always talk about my wife and kids with anybody I know. Um, they're really the, the true pride and joy of my life and what keeps me going as a man. I, I personally, I would not be the man I am today if it wasn't for the three of them. Um, on top of that, when I was younger, uh, as a child, I spent a lot of time at my grandparents' house. So I truly loved, in all honesty, just personally, the memories that I got just by reading the label Grandma's Kitchen. Um, even before I open up the can of beard butter, um, it really made thoughts and memories of cherished times as a child and just how much I love my family personally and just all the good experiences I've had throughout my life and I've been blessed with. So um, before I even open up the jar and smell it, I wanted to say thank you, Rusty, for sending me this scent profile specifically. It meant a lot and this scent truly um, brought back memories uh, and in all honesty was my favorite of the three that was sent. Um, again, Grandma's Kitchen is a mix of apple pie and pipe tobacco. Just opening it up, you immediately get that mix of apple and cinnamon, but on the back end, a little bit of the tobacco too. Um, that, that was just awesome. It really works well together. I was honestly surprised and when I, I looked up the scent profile, it took me a moment just to kind of decide what all um, fragrances were in this. 
Um, but I was surprised, and when I read it, it all clicked together. And you can really smell the apple pie and the pipe tobacco. Um, it really works well in the beard. The consistency is what you'd expect. A little bit of melting here just from being in my hand, and then, of course, the, the summer heat that we have going on. Um, but a, a, a typical consistency of a creamy whipped butter worked really, really well in my beard. Again, the ingredients are unique um, and uh, it really did wonders for my beard overall. Um, makes your beard so soft, um, so easy to comb through, keeps it moisturized. It, it's just an awesome product overall and I really, really love this one especially in the grandma's kitchen scent. Um, scent profile probably lasts about four to six hours overall. And uh, putting it in my beard that night, waking up the next morning, I had absolutely no issues coming through after sleeping about six to eight hours that night. Um, overall, those were the three products that Rusty sent me. Um, I cannot thank you enough, Rusty, for sending out your products. Just the memories that I had, especially from Grandma's Kitchen, that that really kind of touched my heart a little bit. Um, I cannot personally recommend Rusty's products enough. Um, as an owner of a small beard company, he truly shares his passion with his customers through his products, his scent profiles, uh, as well as just kind of his journey to give back to the community that he lives in. and do anything he can to serve the people there. Um, hometown Beard and Body uh, has a great product lineup, awesome scent profiles, multiple choices, and it's continuing to grow with the Hometown Heroes um, promotional um, products there for the um, charity. He does truly care about people and wants to give back and what I could say is if you if you like <laughs> if you have a beard you want good quality products that are all natural and you like the idea of possibly giving back to others this is definitely the beard company for you um, check out hometown beard, beard excuse me hometown body and beard Beard and Body. I always get that backwards. Hometown Beard and Body on Etsy. Um, he's also found on Instagram. Check out his videos. Check out his um, product line. Um, again, wonderful man, wonderful company, and you cannot go wrong with his products. Tell him Den Denver Beard Review sent you. If you have any questions, concerns, um, anything you'd like to run by me, please comment below. Um, send me a message, anything. Again, I appreciate you stopping by the channel, checking out the video. If I can help out in any way, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode and hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.